it's fine. I was just skipping all the music. I was trying to pause it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me get things all figured out here. Okay. Switched over. Um, I have a. I'm. I'm going to be trying like a new like audio thing. Uh, because I've been <laughs> struggling with like uh the the game audio and then me speaking at the same time, um, because like I want the you to be able to hear the game audio, but also like hear me speaking at the same time. So, uh, here we go, and then hopefully it's it's working all right. Um, <laughs> just like, I guess, let me know if, like, it's too distracting and then I'll maybe, like, switch over to the other, um, other way I was doing it before and that was basically just having the game very low and then me trying to, like, scream into the mic. <laughs> um, so anyways, uh, <laughs> Last time, uh, I finished Taurus, uh, and I am now a Jedi, a, a Padawan. Um, I've got myself all leveled up, uh, Zalbar's all leveled up, same as Karth. Um, let's see, looking at my journal. Um, it wasn't, like, too long ago, it was, like, yesterday <laughs> I was playing, but it's still, like... All right, what do I have to do now? <laughs> um, so I have my second task. Uh, oh no, I, I got got that done. I think I just have to talk to him again. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Uh, let's see. I can find crystals on Dantooine? What? It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? Uh, I guess so. I'm ready to face the third trial. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathhounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers. A threat the Jedi have promised to stop. What would you have me do, Master Jar? The Cathhounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. Do you have no other guidance? I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the Dark Path are not always lost forever. The Dark Side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the Dark Side has been stopped. This is your task, Apprentice. May the Force be with you. Okay, thank you, Master Jar. <laughs> okay, so we have to go... figure out what the source of the darkness is. 
Although he mentioned having to fight someone who also wields a lightsaber. So, you know, uh, there is that. <laughs> um, I don't know if we need to like talk to anybody else. I guess I'll just continue on. Hello, Jedi droid. The council has decreed you may come and go as you please. Okay, thanks. Okay. So there's people to talk to. There's settlers. Master Quattro was hurt very badly. She might die. I heard it was her own apprentice that did it. Oh, there's something that's bothering Karth. Maybe I should uh, see if he'll open up about it. Uh, sure. Yes, what's on your mind? <laughs> You're the source of darkness. <laughs> I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I just want to talk with you. <laughs> you want to argue some more, is that it? I'm always up for a good fight. <laughs> Can't say I've ever met a woman quite like you before. You're really something. I just don't trust easily, and for good reasons, which are my own. But we have to work together, Karth, so it has plenty to do with me. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith. And we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? Uh, I guess before I forget about it, uh, Dark Lord of Tech followed yesterday. I thank you for that. Um... <laughs> I did not see that yesterday. Um, I, it was probably like right at the end of the stream and I just didn't see it. Um, let's see, what do I have to do with Malik and Revan? It's not that, it's, that's not what I mean. There were, there were others, good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malik and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done, but the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they join with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. You say that with such hatred. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, oh, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. it, it okay, Karth. I guess we'll have you open up later about it. Alright, uh, Nemo. Like, finding Nemo? Well, I found him. <laughs> Hello, Nemo. It is good sometimes to stop and reflect on the beauty of nature and the Force. I am sorry. I tend to get carried away. I do not believe we have met, Apprentice. My name is Nemo. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, I've been given a task by the council. Indeed. What is it you would like from me? Uh, what do you know of the Tainted Grove? The council has told you nothing of the grove? No, they have not. Then it would not be my place to explain its significance. But as the light side can be embodied in living beings, so can the dark. The grove can be found to the south and east in the plains, but be wary of cathounds. They may be agitated by the power in the grove. Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, I have a question about Dantooine, I guess. Very well. What is it you wish to know? Um... Master Jar said there are caves on Dantooine with lightsaber crystals. Ah, yes, those caves. Those caves are dangerous for the unwary. Kinreth spiders infest the places. They are attracted by the colors and heat given off by the crystals, I think. It is a pity. Those caves are strong with the Force. Is there something else I can help you with? 
Uh, I guess I would like to know about you. About me? I am truly flattered. What is it you wish to know? Uh, who are you? First of all. <laughs> As I have said, I believe, my name is Nemo. I am here by the will of the Jedi Council. I guess it's like, uh, the, what are you in charge of? Like, I mean, like, obviously you're a Jedi, but like, what do you do as a Jedi? <laughs> Are you a Jedi? <laughs> Indeed, my young friend, that I am. I have served the Council for many years, and have seen many apprentices pass through this enclave. Are you a member of the Jedi Council? I think perhaps you place an undue importance on rank and hierarchy. Understandable, but regrettable also. We each serve in our place. High or low? Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, I guess I should be going. I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Ah, uh, I mean, it seems like a very peaceful place for the most part. Uh, Agar and Rilka? Hello. I'm afraid I'm not very good at explaining things. If you have any questions, please ask my husband. Okay. Oh, greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? I'm merely an apprentice, not a Jedi. Oh, I'm sorry. I was mistaken. Does the Council require our presence? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Oh, I see. I am mistaken. How may I be of assistance? Um... What can you tell me about Dantooine? Well, as you can see, Dantooine is mostly plains and grassland, but it has a nice hearty soil. A lot of new people have come in the last generation or so. Mm -hmm. well, the ones you'll most likely hear about are the Sandrals and the Matalis. Big, wealthy landowners, both of them. But Alan Matali and Nurik Sandral just can't seem to get along. And now Alan wants to get the council to do something do something? Has something happened? Well, from what I hear, it started about a week ago. See, Nurik's son, Cassis, is an archaeologist. Bright lad, too, but he disappeared. Nurik, of course, blamed Alan, but even he didn't take it before the council. But now, Alan's son, Shen, has disappeared as well, and no one knows where he's gone. Alan blames Nurik. He thinks he's kidnapped his son. I don't know exactly what he wants to ask the council, but from what I know of Alan, he's probably going to be after blood. Is there anything else you require? Uh, the... the... Mandalorians here? Ever since the Republic beat them years ago, little groups have been roaming all over the place. With the Sith invasion, the Republic doesn't have the manpower to hunt them down. The Jedi are even worse off because Malak has been hunting them specifically. They're worried that he might even be supporting these raiders, so don't want to face them directly. That puts us in a kind of hard situation. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, you mentioned calf hounds. Recently, the calf hounds have been acting much more aggressively. They've even attacked some of the settlers. Those Mandalorian raiders have been milking the outlying farms dry, too. I hear John got hit really bad too bad about his daughter. I'm not sure exactly what the council will do about it, but we need some help with this. I only hope they'll listen to me. Is there anything else you require? Uh, I guess I'll be going now. Farewell, then. May the force be with you. Is that how it goes? Yes. May the force be with you. Yes, that is exactly how it goes, sir. <laughs> Alright. Then... Are you a Jedi? How long can you people continue to sit by and claim you protect us, protectors? Ha! You sit in your enclave safe from the Mandalorians while we suffer. Uh, what are you talking about? Those Mandalorian brutes have killed my daughter. They came to our land demanding our livelihood. But Ilsa, my Ilsa, said no. They killed her? There was nothing I could do. Too many of the Mandalorians and their Duro's allies. I've come here to ask you, please, Master Jedi, stop these raiders and get revenge for my daughter. Mm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm not a Jedi yet. You have been accepted into the Order. Yours is the authority of the Jedi. I will give you all I have. Just please annihilate them from the face of this planet. I mean, I guess I'll see what I can do, but I don't think annihilating them is uh, gonna help much. It might make things worse, potentially. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Those damn Mandalorians have been raiding farms all over this continent. The Jedi won't do anything, so where does that leave us? Um, I don't know. I'm sorry, people. Uh, oh, there's a named NPC. <laughs> ah, yes, you are a Jedi. I am grateful that your p people harbor me in my times of need. <laughs> Total annihilation is for the greater good? I don't know about that. I mean, like, I know that, like, later on in, in, like, just the Star Wars universe, they become better. I, I, I think they're also just kind of cool. Their armor's pretty cool, for sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what happened to you? I am a victim, a refugee. Yes, I flee. Fled from my world once the Sith fleet came by. Uh, they scour the continent, spoil the oceans. Sith are bad, yes. But I run here, find the Jedi already here, unknown. They take me in. One left. Oh, jeez, you are speaking way too fast. <laughs> uh, my thanks you have and your order. Is there anything else you require? Um... I must be going now. <laughs> yes, yes, Jedi always have more to attend to. Good day, friend Jedi. Okay. He speaks way too fast. I mean, like, some of... I, I guess, like, maybe I just need to, like, read faster. But, like, there's only so fast that I can, like, read out loud. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, at least. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. I seem to have lost my companion, you see? Your companion? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? I mean, it's possible. Maybe it was the Mandalorians. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No, it must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Did someone break it down? No. The door was undamaged and showed no signs of tampering. Could it have been opened from the inside? Well, yes it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... A droid? Well, yes. He is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to me, my precious is. I don't know what I'd do without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? Please, I beg of you, return my droid to me. Uh, if I happen to see him, I'll send him back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. If you find him, please send him home to me. I need him so much. Uh, okay. And Adam Larp. Uh, he, I think he's another alien that speaks very fast. Uh, sure. Greetings, fe fellow sentient. I notice that you have not, you are not heavily armed, or at least not heavily armed enough. 
Please allow myself to introduce myself. I am Adam, a simple merchant with a much noble purpose. Uh, purpose? Yes, purpose! The settlers and noble humans of Dantooine have been plagued by cat hounds, raiders, and other fearsome troubles of late. It is much, much too sad to see these things happen to such people as this. Therefore, I have made this my mission to be. Mission? To overcome their troubles, they must be able to defend themselves. Therefore, I shall offer the highest of quality of weapons at the lowest of low of prices for them. I am here, offering you much in the way of weaponry at low, low prices. How can any sentient pa pass up such a bargain? They cannot! Weaponry it is, and weaponry I have. What is it to you you would like from me this fine day? <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, let me see what you're selling. Yes, yes, here is the best you can find anywhere on the world. Or this world, I should say. Uh, uh, he's got some nice uh, armor here. Uh, expensive. Cassius Fett. The fact that there's a Fett already, that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, that's... He's got armor that I might want, uh, but everything else seems kind of... I mean, there's like a blaster, I guess. But, like, I think the only thing would be, like, that armor. But, like, I personally don't have a use for it. Uh, but one of the soldiers could use it. But I also don't have the credits, so, uh, goodbye! There's a cat hound. <laughs> It is calling for some buddies. Okie dokie. Let's start off with a lightsaber throw. You asked for this! Oh, I have to. There we go. Hey, nice. Okay. No loot from them. That's fine. Okay. Uh, should I just go straight or go this way? Video game logic generally says to just go to any open area. Because I know that that is a... That is just a... Uh, loading screen to the next area. <laughs> um... I could attack these guys. I think I'll start off with this one over here, though. <laughs> and everybody else is gonna... Oh, there's one that saw us and decided he wanted to come and uh, attack us, too. <laughs> Okay, and we'll just uh, do some more lightsaber throws here, because that is a guaranteed attack. <laughs> Uh, still no loot. That's okay. We're getting experience, and experience is good. Alright. Hoping the stream is doing alright. I know yesterday, uh, Miss Nomerton said that uh, it was a little bit choppy. So I did mess with a few settings to hopefully help that. Um... Running away? What? Why is it running?
running away. You asked for this. That's like something new that I haven't seen. I guess uh that that's a thing. Um Parthia you're in the way. Hi. I guess let's see if there's any uh loot over here. Uh there is no loot. Okay. No loot it is. I know that that is where uh, another thing is, uh, but we don't want to go there yet. I'm gonna use the healing ability here for a second. We'll go into the Metale grounds. Okay, uh, so there's a lot more Cath Hounds around. Uh, that's just kind of a given around here, I think. Um... Okay, so it attacked two, at least. Okay. How'd you like that? Okay. Oh, it looks like the stream might be getting a little choppy. Which is not super fun. Uh, I'm hoping that that's not a regular occurrence. Looks like I am dry. <laughs> There's some more cath hounds over there. Some more over there. I could go over that way. Um. Oh. I guess one of them came into sight, but. Okay. We'll just continue on this way, I think. Find this sacred grove. Oh, there, there's the grove. <laughs> Okay, so there's one over there. There's one right there. Um, Zalbar, let's have you pull this one in. And we'll just attack it. I don't know if the other cat hounds will like that? attack us. They might. Oh. Looks like uh, they're making the choice for me. <laughs> We're I going like to that. attack them. Let's go! Mm -hmm. I could stun one. How'd you like that? I don't have stasis yet, so. Once I get stasis for everything, that'll be nice. Okay. Hopefully the stream is doing all right. <laughs> okay. You are for this. that. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is where we're supposed to be going. Let's see. I think I could go that way, but I think that 
leads us closer to even more calf pounds. Um, looks like there's some... I think there's some Mandalorians back there. Um, oh. Don't, you don't see me, calf hound. Unless you do. Do you, do you see me? You see me. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, Zalbar. <laughs> Let me go after the, the cat hound. <laughs> hey, where are you going now? You better not be going anywhere else. Okay, you're, you're staying still. Got it. So there is Juhani. Get these remains here. Uh, Mandalorian melee shield. Nice. Okay. Uh, I probably have enough. Okie dokie. I will be your doom! Will you be my doom? <laughs> Uh, we'll try this. Oh, it actually worked. That's impressive. Okay. Oh, the question is, will it happen again? Uh, it does happen again. Alright. That's pretty cool. I am apparently powerful enough to keep on stunning her. But I'll eventually uh, run out of uh, horse Hey, that's rude. You. You are strong. Stronger than me, even in my darkness. Uh, who are you? I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. You embrace the dark side? Why? When I slew my master, Quatra. I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Uh, you slew Qu Quatra? Your master? Oh my gosh. Can I even speak? <laughs> you slew Quatra? Your master? Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? I was sent by the council to cleanse the taint from this grove. The council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? I have no desire to kill you, Juhani. You... you do not? I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Come now, Juhani. You are a beautiful young woman who has much talent. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. You seem to know just what affects me. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. That's not your fault, Shuhani. I only wish things could have been different. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. I think, in my own way, 
I truly loved her. How can the council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Do not worry, Johanny. They will surely take you back. I should convince them that I am truly repentant. That I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I have done? Of course it would. They would always accept you back. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. If only there was some way I could make this up to you. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Um, I... I guess so. Okay. Hey, some upgradables. Nice. Oh. Or upgrades, I should say. Not upgradables. The upgradables I already have. Well, some of them. <laughs> Uh, okie dokie. Uh, I guess I might be too close to the calf hounds to avoid them. So I guess we're taking them down. Maybe? Oh, yep. We're taking them down. Alright. This is fine. Oh, like yep. And Zelda is like, I'm just gonna go attack these other ones that are over here. There's one right there, but uh, none of us can see it, technically. I mean, I can see it, but uh, a video game logic. <laughs> uh, there are some Mandalorians over here. That uh, will they shoot first and then ask questions later? That's what it looks like. All right. Push him. Push him. Hey, I did good. <laughs> oh, crap, leveled up. Nice. Okay, it looks like... It looks like the stream is still a little bit on the uh, glitchy side. I don't know if that's just on my end, or if that's uh, being... Like, that's, uh, happening on the stream's end, too. Uh, I've got some settings to figure out, I guess. But, uh, for right now, I'm gonna continue on. <laughs> Alright. Heal myself up. Ready. Uh, Karth, let's level you up. Skills. Uh, we're still gonna have you do treat injury, cause, um... That's important. Uh, and then, do I want to have you... Um, see, this one gives a plus 8 to damage, whereas this one just makes him more accurate. Uh, let's, let's add this feat and then give him more damage. Um, we'll deal with that. Okie dokie. So I've gotten all of that stuff. And I even like... I can't touch the speeder. Got it. Um... The Sandra rounds. Okay, actually, I picked up a Mandalorian data pad. What did it say? Up uh, there it is. Okay, Jarek was went missing in Sector B. Then Riza saw someone move south of there. Take a couple of troops and find out who it is. If they look suspicious, terminate. Okay, so south. But where is Sector B? 
I don't... I don't know what that entails. Okay. Oh, hey! There's a droid! I can see it over there. Okay. Um... Whoop! I did not want that. I wanted to potentially do a that. Attack all of these, I guess. Uh, let's do this. attacks all of them. How'd you like that? It is a guaranteed hit, which is very nice. <laughs> it's like I didn't. I know that, like, I didn't get it, like, when I first started playing this game a long time ago because I didn't see the use of it. But now I do. So, uh. <laughs> All right. Thank you for saving me, Master Jedi. I am C842, a personal assistant droid. A personal assistant droid? As I said, I am C842, a personal assistant droid. Although in recent months the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. Are you Elisa's droid? Did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. You're running from her? Yes, but I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She... She tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. Uh, all the time? You don't want to know. No, I don't. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. You sought them out? I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people. Living people, please. Will you destroy me? Uh, isn't there another another way? Like, um... Is there not another way? Like, it's not. can he not just, like, find another master, maybe? Or does he just not, not want anything? Uh, the... You should go back to her. Maybe. I wish there was another option here, because it's like, maybe it's like a, here, like, get off this planet sort of thing. Although I guess he would have to go back near her to be able to do that. Unless there's like some other, like, place that he could go. But like... Ugh. I don't want to subject him to that, but also, like, the death is not the answer. <laughs> uh, no, you should go back to her. I'm sorry, droid. Maybe you can escape some other time? But why? Uh... I don't like these answers. <laughs> I don't like these answers. Uh, she is lonely and needs your support. You're right. How could I be so selfish? I must not think only of myself, but of how it affects her. She must be frantic. And if she lost me, she'd be devastated. I must return then. It is my duty. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Droid. Maybe you can... I mean, you'll... You, I hope you find a better life. Hopefully, like, it's it's better. Okay, um... I guess we'll continue on. Uh, I mean, I could go in there, get some... Uh, cars. I know that that right there is the, um the cave entrance for the uh, lightsaber crystals and stuff. 
Um... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll continue on. Oh, it's so dark in here. Jeez. This is so dark. Okay, so there's a Kinrath. Ah, that's what I was thinking of the other day. Because uh, uh, the boyfriend and I have been uh, watching some of Bad Batch because we haven't watched it yet. Um, he hasn't watched a lot of Star Wars. and I'm, I'm getting him into it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more into it, I should say. <laughs> um, okay. Uh... <laughs> Is the stream doing all right? I don't know if, like, there's anyone that can talk to me, but, like, I'm hoping the stream is only, like, looking choppy on my end, and it's not actually, like, being choppy. Um, uh, in which case, if it is choppy, uh, I'd like to be able to fix it. I just don't know how I, I do that. Um, I guess we'll continue on. I can't do a lightsaber throw this close, but I might be able to... Some lightsaber throws... That should help take care of at least a few of these. Down you go! Lightsaber throws are great. They help a lot. Oh, I got poisons. Okay, I think we're good there. Um, I don't think I want to like destroy the eggs. I think I just want to get the crystals. The eggs haven't done anything to me. So I guess let's just try to look for the crystals. Okay, I've acquired a crystal. There's another crystal. Uh, that's Those are eggs. Um, Crystal? Crystal. Okay. That's... those are eggs. Uh, there is a dead person here. Let's loot them, I guess. Uh, a response package, Durasteel bonding alloy. So, uh, upgrade... upgrade. Okay. Okay, I got another crystal. Uh, there's so many, like, just clickables. Another one. Is that everything? Is that all of the crystals? Because those are all eggs. That's a crystal. Those are eggs. I think, um, I think that was all of the, the crystals. I think. Okay. Yep. That was, that was all of the, all the crystals. Uh, I didn't touch the eggs. I don't think I even need to worry about the eggs, but that could be something else. Um. Alright. Continuing on. Going back the way I came. Hold on a second, let me see if I can adjust some settings on the fly here. I don't know if 
It'll help. Uh, let's see here. Because it looks like uh, Twitch is also saying that the bitrate is not looking great. So uh, I don't know if that's like my internet or if it's some of the settings that I have in place or what. So let me uh, change this. Let's see if that helps anything. Because uh, that's a thing. I might have to like... Uh, change some things, potentially. But I'm hoping that isn't the case. Is it okay, maybe? Uh, nothing, never mind. Uh, the, the, maybe you have anything more you have to say? No, just mission. Okay. Uh, then I'll leave you be. Yep. Okay. Um, and we'll just continue on like, like usual. Uh, so let's go take care of this guy over here. Down you go. So that was just the one. I'm hoping that the stream gets a little bit better. Uh, I am trying, uh, <laughs> but there might be some some lag. I don't have like the best internet around, but I'm trying. Let's see the... Come on, Karth, you can do it. He's doing great. I'm just throwing my lightsaber. <laughs> throwing my lightsaber into the fray. Is this Sector B? Is that where this is? Okay, remains on this guy. He's got a data pad. Let's look at his data pad. I don't know if it's the same one or not, but... This one. Sharg, did you remember not to take the XT model bike out today? There was something funny with one of the intakes, and I thought it, w it could jam. Ha! Consider yourself lucky. If someone was dumb enough to take that thing out, he would have plowed right into the ground with a, within a kilometer. 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 I can't speak. I can't read. This is fine. <laughs> Okay, um, get that, there we go, there's a lot of stuff over here, okay, so let's pick up this equipment pack, there's a med pack in there, okay, cool, metal case, uh, repair kit, got it, foot locker, uh, credits, and then some mines, okay, and then a metal box, like, what are they getting... Like, they're setting something up over here, and that isn't okay. It is not okay with me. Okay. Horn... Horn Cath Hound? There's an albino one over there. How'd you like 
You asked for this! I'm actually hitting them. Let me see if I can. That was a one off thing because I didn't have enough force powers. <laughs> you asked for this! Take care of the small ones, I guess. And then take care of the big one. You asked for this! It's going after me now. It's like, you're hurting my buddies. Stop it. You're hurting my buddies too. So you stop it. Oh, it can heal, it looks like. I think it, it it's like it has like a special implant like Candorous. Maybe it's just like something special with the albino. I can't seem to hit it. Jeez. That seems to be having a hard time too. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, I won't have to heal at least myself up because uh, I get a level up. Uh, skills. We're gonna do the same ones that I've been doing. Powers. Um, is there something? Let's see. So, Force Whirlwind. Circles target victim a small male storm. There's a top level PC attacking characters wisdom and charisma modifiers. Interesting. Okay. Uh there's also stasis. And then stasis field. That's that's what I want to eventually have, I think, is a stasis field. Um, also do this. Let's, let's add stasis, and then we can eventually get stasis field. Uh, Zalbar, let's level you up, see what... Oh, interesting. You're the one that has, like, all the repair. And computer use. Okay, I'm gonna let you have those, because that's useful. Useful skills. Okay, feats. He already has two weapon fighting. Is that because he's been using. He's also got. Interesting. So he's supposed to focus on, like, melee? So, um, I mean, will, uh, so maybe I should be having him do melee stuff, because it seems like he has, like, all the melee stuff, like, he just automatically got all that, okay. Sure, we'll add that feat, and then we'll see how things go there. Okay. Okay, I think that's all of that. So I guess we continue on. Can I go this way? I don't think I can go this way. Also, Karth, you are really uh -huh. hurting. Why are you... I mean, I know why you've been hurting so bad. Maybe I can... Hey, I can. I can return to the Ebon Hawk. And then I can just transit back just fine. Yep, yep. There we go. There we go! It's like he's alive. 
So, like, there is a medical bay in the Ebonhawk, so that makes sense to me. Um, is there anything over here that is of interest? I haven't actually, like... I don't think I've ever really explored all of Dantooine. I know I've done, like, a few quests on Dantooine, but I haven't done, like, all of them in the past. And it might be nice to do that, this, this run-through. Okay, so there's cat hounds. Let's do some lightsaber throwing. Get some of these, uh... There you go! Guard, I guess. Affects <laughs> my force powers too. Or my least force amount of force. Try to do another, uh, another setting difference here. I don't know if it'll break things. I'm hoping not. Um, oh, I can't change it right now. Um, okay, so I'll have to. I'll have to try it again next stream. It won't be like 60 FPS or anything, but we'll try next time, see how things go. Um, continue on, I guess. Uh, oh, there's someone sitting over there. Uh, I think I'll wait on that. Because I think that's the, the quest that, like, can't really get out of. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Here's some Mandalorians over here. Of course there are. You've been holding out on us again. If you haven't given us enough money, I guess we're gonna have to take it out of you piece by piece. No, please take my wife and children instead. Anything. She's a horrible <laughs> person. Ah. Uh. Wife and children. Sounds like a good idea. Cheese. Uh, actually, hold on. Uh, these guys over here, they're all clustered together, so. Oh, I guess it only hits two of them. I tried. <laughs> That one. Oh, man. Lightsaber throw is amazing. Okay, there's an equipment pack over here. I don't think there's any, like, any remains. I was looking, but it doesn't look like. Oh! <laughs> I stand corrected. There is remains. Okay, so he's got a data pad. Let's get those items. Let's look at. His data pad now. Um, it looks like it's the same as the other one before. So, uh, I don't need to read that out or anything. Because you can only walk everywhere. I do have like the force speed, but like what is it even called? Burst of speed. Yep. The that that's what it's called. Burst of speed. 
But I'm currently wearing armor. Uh, so that makes things a little difficult. Okay, um, is there even like a way around here? Kind of looks like there might be. Is this the same place as the second... Because, like, I remember it's, like, one of these grounds. It's either, like, the Matale or the Sandral grounds that are that is in the uh, second game. Oh, and I recognize this area. I think it's the, these grounds that are used in the second game. Oh, how'd you like that? That's that, so I guess I continue on. So I've already gone over to the other area. Maybe I'll switch into some clothes or something and then <laughs> use the burst of speed. back to the Jedi Temple because uh, that is uh, important. <laughs> okay, okay. Excuse me. Um. Okay, so he is back with his owner. Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. It's... It's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry. I'm gonna hug you and oil you and care for you and make sure you never, ever get away again. Lady, you're crazy. I wanted... Uh... Okay, lady. You... You do you. The poor droid. Goodbye, Mr. Droid. I hope that you are able to escape at some point and not have to deal with her... To, to hit shoes. Um... I think I took out all of the Mandalorians. I don't know if he'll say anything about it, but... Have you found the Mandalorian raiders yet? Uh... What do you know about these raiders? Not much that would help you, I'm afraid. They're Mandalorians in their battle armor with some Duro's allies. They came down on us on land speeders, so they could be anywhere by now. One thing I do remember, when those dogs killed my Ilsa, is that their leader was a giant of a man who wielded a lightsaber. A lightsaber? Yes, it was. Mandalorians have never been open to the ways of the Jedi. They are much too barbaric and violent. I rather think that it may have been from some poor Jedi he had slain before. You can see now that he is as much of a threat to you as to me. You must kill them. They have been troubling farms in the south most recently, having already dealt with many to the north. Please go there, find them, and kill them. The south? Uh, oh boy. Okay. So like I I know I already took care of like three groups. Is there like another group that I just don't know about? I think that might be another group. I hear you managed to return Juhani to the Order. Congratulations. I regret not being able to tell you more. But some things you must see with your own eyes. Is there something I can help you with? Um, I think that's it. I'll be going. I hope your time is well spent here on Dantooine. Thanks, Nemo. Okay. Uh, something is bothering Karth again. Okay, yeah, let's let's yes, speak to him. In your mind. 
Uh, I want to continue our discussion from before. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Um... <laughs> Am I bored? Uh... Don't you think you'd feel better if you discussed it? Listen, sister, just because we're working together doesn't mean you get to go badger me with constant questions. Do we have another problem now? Blast it! If you aren't the most frustrating woman to talk to, isn't there someone else you can harass for a little while? I'm frustrating? Look who's talking! What, me? What did I do? <laughs> oh, that's rich. Where have you been? Okay, I give up. You win. Look, I suppose I could use someone to talk to. I'm just not used to it, and I don't know why you're so interested, but... Here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. You say that name like I should know it. You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. You didn't think he would betray the Republic? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. So you blame yourself for trusting your friend? I blame Saul, not myself. I was I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. That's terrible. I feel awful for you. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Hi. Uh, thanks for the follow, editorial push. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, we're going to talk to the council. <laughs> There's Shuhani! I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. Have you spoken to the Council? I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side. To see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. That's... pretty harsh. <laughs> Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach. But now, I truly understand my own limitations. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone. To explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You. Back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I, I can't say I approve of their training methods. You have been given another chance to prove yourself. I hope you use it well. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Okie dokie. Okay, 
continuing on to the council, and then I should get Bastila back, right? Unless there's another trial. I think there's another trial. No, that was the third trial. Uh, I guess let's talk to Master Jar. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. I'm a Padawan now! I get special robes now. I, I could I could continue to wear this. Uh and might give this to Bastila. Potentially. Yeah, I'll continue to wear that and then and uh, once I get Bastila back, uh Bastila will be wearing the Jedi robes. Who do I talk to? Do I just talk to all of them? Do I need to wait for him to, to come over? Okay, he has found his his place. It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets mm -hmm. to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. Mm. What happened to the Jedi who went to investigate? We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything Probably else you want to know? Is there anything you can tell me about Revan and Malak, I guess? <laughs> I knew Revan as a promising young pupil. Revan was strong in the Force, but also headstrong and proud. Such traits are not unusual in a Padawan. Perhaps that was why I did not see the true extent of the danger. Many of the young Jedi admired Revan, including Malak. When Revan set off to challenge the Mandalorians, Malak was the first to join the cause. And when Revan fell to the dark side, it was inevitable Malak would fall as well. So you're saying Revan was responsible for Malik's fall? Revan was always the more powerful of the pair. When Revan fell, we had hoped the Sith threat was ended. But Malik quickly assumed Revan's role and embraced the dark side as fully as his master ever had. Now, Malik leads the Sith Armada against the Republic. Hate and vengeance drawing him ever further down the dark path fueling his powers until they have surpassed those of his old master. Only you and Bastila, together, can stop Malik now. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Okay, thanks. Uh, let's see. Um, do I want to have Zalbar as my buddy, or do I want to have Karth as my buddy? 
I think I'll have Karth as my buddy, because, um, yeah. Okay. Okay. I yep. demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine! They must be punished! The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof, and we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing! How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. Um... I shall look into it at once. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in the real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on, how bad could it be? I mean, all right. <laughs> and Basila, we need to level you up. All right, skills. Uh, you have some skills. Uh, not not nearly as many as I would think. Uh, I guess we'll do that, and, um, okay. <laughs> uh, alright, um, it's always good to have healing available. She can disable droids if I wanted to. Um, let's just add cure, because healing's always good. Tributes, uh, oh, she's got high dexterity, okay. Um, uh, it's, that would explain why she doesn't have as many uh, skills as I thought she would. Um, <laughs> I guess, uh, let's make her a little bit more wise, just a little bit more wise. Um, We'll continue to give her the awareness and stuff. Um, what else should I give her? Um, I guess... Let's give her Disable Droid. And then we'll continue to level her up. Awareness, Entry Injury. Oh, she's got... Oh, I mean, that makes sense, because she's got the double-bladed lightsaber. Um... Hmm. Let's give her more lightsaber... Uh, accuracy. And then having her... Her have a lightsaber throughout is also nice. Alright, and then she should have her- she doesn't- why doesn't she have her lightsaber on her? She should always have her lightsaber on her. Um, we'll give her a little bit more strength with that too. Uh, demolitions- I don't use demolitions. I'll just leave that there. Okay. And she instantly has her lightsaber just ignited. Alright! That's fine. Oh, I also need to change her armor. I was gonna have her wear the Jedi robe. There we go. There we go! Continuing on. Um, now the question is, do I want to... 
continue with like the main quest or continue with I think I'll continue with the uh, side quests here and hope for the best because that's all we can do oh Nemo is gone oh I should also ask about Gar because uh, he's been sitting out here for a little bit I wonder if I can do that I'm going to go in, and I'm going to see if I can. If I can't, then that's fine. But, uh, it would be good to know beforehand, you know? Okay, uh, Dorak, well, maybe? Speak with you. you are now one of the Jedi, an order with a long and glorious past. A past we should all be aware of. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our Order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. I was just hoping to ask about Gar. Um. It, uh, where are the Academy's archives, I guess? This facility is a training academy. The archives here are restricted to those who have attained the rank of Master. We must protect over eager Padawans from being exposed to dangerous knowledge. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble goal. But there are some things that require the wisdom of a master to truly understand. If you are seeking information on Revan, Malak, and the Sith, I will gladly recount the recent history of our order to you. Um... Right now, I don't have the time. But thanks. As you wish. I will not force you to hear what I have to say. Though I think it is unwise to ignore the lessons of the past. Perhaps you can return when you have more time. I mean, lessons of the past are good. Like, it's good to learn from the past and make sure we're not making the same mistakes. But... It, 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 Your I'm training just is now find complete, out Padawan. Other things. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. Uh, let's see. Um, I'd like to ask you some questions. A Jedi must ever be seeking knowledge. What is it you wish to know? Is there anything about Gar? Like, can I, like... Um... Ugh, I can't... I can't ask about him. Okay, uh, why doesn't Master Vrook like me? Master Vrook may seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila, and for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Vandar. Um... Uh, maybe Jar? Nothing left to teach you, Padawan. Though a Jedi is ever learning. Even the Masters know their training is but in its infancy. Now is the time for you to seek wisdom outside the training chambers. The lessons that yet await you are to be found beyond the walls of this academy. You should speak to the Council, Padawan. Now that the first stage of your training is complete, I am certain they would be eager to have you aid us in our struggle against Darth Malak and the Sith. Okay, so no. I can't ask you. What about you, Vrook? 
please. I must congratulate you on your actions. You have saved Johanny and brought her back into the order. And have given us all great hope for your future success. May the force be with you as you continue your training. So that is also a no. Okay, so uh, no to all of the above. I just wasted some time. That's fine. <laughs> I had to check. I wanted to make sure I could like... Because like he's... He's apparently been waiting out there, at least. I don't know how long he's been waiting out there, but he's been waiting out there. I'd like to give him, like, an update or something, but I guess, I guess not. Um, I'm sorry, Gar. I'm just gonna continue on and do some quests. And see how things go. Oh, that speeder is gone now. Uh, probably because Elise is home with her droid. Um, I still wish there was, like, another way to go about that. Like, if there was, like, some way to maybe, like, I don't know, make it so the, like, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Just make it so that he could escape from that situation. Because he did not seem happy. He was not a happy droid. Like, he doesn't want to hurt his, his... Human, but like, ugh. <laughs> okay, uh, is this the right place? I'm hoping this is the right place. Um, there's like all the quests. There's so many quests in this game, and I don't think I've done all of them. <laughs> There's a droid. Can I talk to the droid? Will it be hostile? This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? Am I, am I trespassing? I've come on behalf of the Jedi Council. I wish to speak to Alan Matale. You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matale wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. Okay. It's got the armed uh, guard here. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandals as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. Uh, why are you so certain the Sandals are to blame? Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. Somehow I imagine the story from the Sandrils would sound just about the same, don't you? The injustices the Sandrils have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. What were they doing here? I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. Ah, uh, I will go and speak to Nurik Sandral. The only resolution possible is the immediate return of my son. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the Council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. Um, excuse? 
I just fought the whole story. I only have, like, your side of the story right now. Uh... I understand you are upset, Alan Matale. Uh, rest assured, I will find Shen. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. You would be willing to risk open war over this? It is the Sandrals who have started this, not I. And here I thought you would blame us if we failed. It seems everyone is responsible for your actions, except for you. I don't need to stand here and listen to such impertinence. I'm impressed, Carl. That interjection was very Jedi-like. What can I say? You pick up a few things. I'm afraid Alan is not just making idle threats. He is rash and foolish enough to attempt a full assault on the Sandral estate. Such action would result in an all-out war between the families. I've seen men like Alan Matali before. He's so convinced that his hatred is justified, he's prepared to do anything. And if we don't intervene, there will be war. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. Uh, I'm gonna try to get all of the, like, information. He does seem to be very, like... There's only one way to go about this, but, like, there's other ways to go about this. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... Well, let's uh, continue on this way, and we'll see how things go. Um... <laughs> Jeez. Oh, there's... I'm not seeing cat hounds around here. So maybe, like, actually bring... Oh, there, there's some cat hounds over there, but there's not, like... Any over Basil, here. I was wondering something. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi like you? Or were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? N no, I was conscious. But my Force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. M my lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? Uh, of all the Jedi in the galaxy, why do we get one who's absent-minded? <laughs> this is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. <laughs> I hardly consider myself a legend, Karth. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. I'm surprised that wasn't a conversation on Taurus. But I guess I didn't have her in my team long enough to have that conversation. Uh, let's try to uh, not get into combat. I mean, like, it's... it's like... Uh... <laughs> I guess it's XP, but... I'd still, like, just rather continue on with the quest. Oh, there's one right here. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Let's make this quick. Ha! How'd you like that? So there's no loot on it. Uh, that's fine. Um, I don't know if, like, Is there, like, are there any over here? Looks like there's not. Okay, cool. So I can go this way and avoid them. Except for that one. That seems to... There's more Mandalorians over here. Okay. 
I guess... Can I talk to them? It looks like I might be able to talk to them. Like oh my gosh. Okay, we're we're attacking it. Uh, the is dead. Okay, good job, you guys. Good job. I just wanted to come talk to uh, these nice Mandalorians over here, although I don't know how nice they actually are. So. Ah, so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Um, alright. Uh, can I just... Uh, do a this thing? The Force fights with me! I'd like a guaranteed attack, so... <laughs> You asked for this. That's not. How'd you like that? Let's not get killed, please. That would be appreciated. Oh, thank you, Bastila. That helps a lot, actually. Taking care of him. Did it just get rid of? the Mandalorian data pads, it might have. Okay, so there's remains here. Uh, lightsabers! Uh, he did mention that he had lightsabers, like John did. So I guess I've got more lightsabers. Thanks! And then we'll take that, and then that. Is there anything else around here? Well, I guess I can tell John that they've been taken care of. Um, okay. Uh, Sandra. I think I've got the tongue tie. Um, yeah, we'll go this way. We'll go talk to the Sandrals. As long as there's no... I don't think there's anything over there anymore. Because I took care of them earlier. Uh, there is a cat hound. But I don't think I can avoid. Oh, that'll make things easy. It's very hard to uh, not hit a uh, non-moving target, <laughs> at least with a melee weapon. <laughs> okay, um, who do I talk to over here? How do I talk to them? Uh, probably this droid over here. He seems nice. He doesn't have a weapon that he's holding. Uh, the Hello, Mr. Sandral uh, droid. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I'm not trespassing. I'm here because the Jedi Council asked me to be here. The Council? If you are here because of Shen Makale's disappearance, you are wasting your time. The Sandrals are not involved. This is nothing but a Makale witch hunt. I'm not in league with the Matales, uh, but I must speak to Nurek. Nurek left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Nurek will meet with you there. Okay, thank you. Seem a little bit more hospitable than uh, the Matales. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. Uh, I want to ask you about the disappearance of Shen Matale. I feel great sorrow at the young Matale's disappearance, but they are not the only family to suffer such a tragedy. Dantooine is a dangerous place. My own son, Cassus, has been missing for some time now. But I know nothing about the disappearance of Shen. Perhaps he and Cassus now share a similar fate. Cassus? 
Uh, the Jedi Council has instructed me to investigate this matter. May I search your estate? I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. That's quite a line. You actually believe that? Don't you think someone is allowed to value privacy? Privacy is all well and good, but justice must be valued higher. Is it not obvious to you that this man hides something? Actually, it is. All I'm saying is that not everyone welcomes the sight of a Jedi with open arms. Better get used to it. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. Uh... Can I... Oh, there's somebody else. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Uh, yeah. Do you know something? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He's not thinking rationally. Uh, does this have anything to do with what happened to Shen? My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. Judge him? What has your father done? You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Please, tell me what happened. My father has kidnapped Shen Metale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Metales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. You don't think that perhaps there's more to look at here, do you? That maybe everything isn't what it appears? Of course not. It seems very simple to me. The Council must be allowed to decide the next step. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I'm afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Why are you telling me all this? Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Uh... Uh... What is the problem between your families? <laughs> have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. I'm not Obi-Wan, but I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, actually, can I talk to you again, or... Please, find Shen, and there are many security droids guarding... Okay, um... Why do you care about Shen? Shen and I, we... Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other, just for being related to our fathers. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father. And, and Shen was so charming, so sweet. He didn't care at all that I was a Sandral. He just accepted me for who I was, with no reservations. We talked and met again over months and fell in love. My brother Cassus met him too, and they were beginning to become friends. But then this whole mess had to happen. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. I'm wondering what happened to Cassus too, but I can't ask her apparently. Um All right, I guess I'll I'll do my best. I'll try to uh find find the Matale boy. Um 
she said the back of the estate. So it's either over here. Is it this one, maybe? It might be that one. But I would like to look around. Uh, I don't think there was another door on the other side. I don't think... I haven't... Uh, actually, I have. Okay, so yeah, this is the only door. Um, are we ready for this, uh, Karth and Bastila? Uh, I guess we'll try. We'll do our best. And, I mean, hopefully we don't have issues. Oh, uh, there are, there, there is a droid right here. Uh, fantastic. There's also this, uh, which I might be able to dis disable? Maybe? I can try. I should have brought Mission along, I think. Names, <laughs> items, security room. Try this. Uh, this is a locked door. That is also. It's a door that's not locked. Is this the only locked door? Is there any way? I don't. I don't know which door he's in. I guess we'll go in here and figure things out. The full fight you asked me. for this. Ha! I can like that. Okay. Uh, Karth has leveled up. Um, skills. Just give you more treat injury, because uh, that seems to be what's going on. Um, and we'll give you more attack power, I think. Sure, yeah. Except. Alright. I'm here. Uh, I have security. I don't think I have, like, let's see. Computer use, I have two. He has none. Okay. Uh, I have security and repair. So maybe it'll be okay? Um, view. Okay, so there's another mine. Um, Okay, so there's another droid over there. I think this is... yeah, this is where I'm at. Uh, I don't want to overload the computer. Uh, <laughs> that would not be a good thing. Okay, so there is a security room. Is there any way to like figure out where these are? Let's not do that. Uh, repair room. Okay, there's some droids in there. Um, is he like in the storage room? Where is he? <laughs> uh, I can download the area schematics, but... I'm just gonna stumble around and hope that things are okay. Um, cause I'd like to save those those spikes for later. So I guess I'll On it. try this room. Done. Okay, so there's no one in here, but there is loot. Loot is good. Loot is nice. Um, okay, no one in here. On it. Done. Get that. Okay, so we're good here. I just need to disable that. I think that might be the front. Uh, I don't know. On it. Done. <gasps> I found him! Who are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? Uh, I'm here to rescue you, Shen. Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. 
I'll protect you, Shen. Let's go. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. How can I get you to come with me, I guess? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandral doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Ah, uh, I... Why do your families hate each other so much? Like, I'll ask him his side of the story. My father thinks the Sandals are thieves and liars who followed him here to Dantooine just to steal what he has earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares for me. Rahasia's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. I think the only hope Rahasia and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Rahasia and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me. Uh, I mean, I could, uh, d d I think I would have to go through here. I don't know if I, I don't know. I'm assuming this is where I would need to go, but I don't know. Okay, I'm going to save. I'm going to save and we're going to, we'll, we'll do this one. Do this save. Um, and then we'll try to go through here. I uh, did okay. I can't go through there. Got it. Okay. Uh, is there a way to go through if I were to like do the go into the um, security room? Maybe. It's destroying all of his security droids. He seems like such a nice guy too. I mean. Uh, nice in like he at least didn't have all of his droids posted outside like holding guns <laughs> okay uh, I think this is the security Actually, that was something new. What was that? Light scan visor, which gives you awareness. Interesting. I'm gonna continue to wear my neural band, uh, because that's the thing. Um, is there like there's a large locker here? I guess I'll take that too. Um. Is there not, like, a computer? Okay, that's the control room, I guess. And then... That one's a security room. Is that... Uh, let's see if I can... I don't see a patrol droid. Uh, I'll go this way! I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> That is where the patrol droid is. So I guess I'll go attack him. Okay. Uh, oh, this is the... Uh, okay. I just went around in a circle. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I guess, gonna loot this guy. Uh... I'll give it to Rahasia and Shen when they get out. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if they actually, like, will accept anything from me. Oh, there is a spider. This is the, uh, repair room. Got it. Uh, 
prison key. You mean I didn't have to unlock the room or something? Or is there a different prison? Okay, I'll continue on. I did not want to, like, attack everything, but uh, there she is. What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? Uh, I'm trying to rescue Shen, but he won't leave without you, Rahesha. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. Okie dokie. I guess I will go talk to him now. I will also take the stuff that was in your footlocker. Why did you leave credits and a med pack behind? You might need that. It's like, you don't know if you... <laughs> you might need that. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Yes, she promised she would meet us outside the gates. I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. All right, let's go. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia! Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. Uh, uh... It wasn't a problem. No, we know that you must have gone to great personal risk to get us out of the Sandral State undetected. No reward is necessary. But surely we can... It's like, if anything, you guys need something. There, there are their parents. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandril! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! I knew you had captured my son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that! You started it! I don't want to hear any of your excuses! Now I will get revenge for your transgressions! Uh... <laughs> you two just need to calm down. Please listen to her, father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! Both of you calm down now! We are trying to be reasonable here, of course. We are sensible people, after all. But our children are being so stubborn. But your if children... Shen would just understand that he has to do what I want, this would all be solved easily. They are their own people. <laughs> Shen is capable of making decisions on his own. No, I won't let you. Ah, uh... I don't care. Rahasia and I will live on our own if you won't accept us. You will do no such thing. I am your father, and I order you to come back with me. No, father, I won't. Rahesha, you will not leave with this... this Matale boy! I am, father, and you can't stop me! We're leaving for the Enclave! You foolish girl! Oh my gosh. Like, if only they would listen. Let them go. You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them! You will not turn your droids on my daughter! Droids, don't let them take Rahesha. We appear to be at an impasse then. And they got away. It is your fault, darling. You were always too violent for your own good. Me? You were the one who rushed out here with war droids. It's like, both of you, calm down. I will not rest until I have my Shen back. The Council will hear of the troubles you cause, Jedi. Indeed they shall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I failed the persuasion check. I failed it. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, it's fine. I'll level up. They at least got away. They got out of, like, a toxic situation. That was super toxic. It was not okay. Okay. Um... Let me get 
this one, I guess? Or, yeah, we'll... We'll do that. And then powers. Um... Let's, let's do the Force Whirlwind and accept that. Oops. All right. Ah, uh, failed that check. I don't even know what would have happened. I just, I failed the check. That's okay. Uh, let's see. There was another quest somewhere. Like I know, is it here? Yeah, it's over here. Uh, maybe I do this quest and then... I do this quest and then I uh, will call it a day. Okay. Oluk? Is that your name? Padawan, your arrival here is well-timed. Who are you? I am Boluk, a Jedi from the Enclave. I was sent by the Jedi Council to investigate a killing that took place here a few hours ago. Communication does not pose a problem, as both the suspects and I speak basic and Hatiz. I was going to handle this case myself, but now that you are here, this could be an excellent opportunity for you to demonstrate how well you have been learning your lessons at the Academy. Though you are not yet a full Jedi, perhaps you could assist me in sorting out the truth from the lies. I mean, I'm a Padawan. So technically, I'm a, I'm a full Jedi, kind of. I'm just not at the higher tiers of being a Jedi. I'm at the lowest tier there is of being a Jedi. <laughs> um, uh, what do you want me to do? Listen to the stories given by the two suspects. I have brought an information retrieval droid with access to the archives, both of the Jedi Enclave and the planetary capital. I will use my wisdom and experience to offer you some guidance, but I will not solve the case for you. There is little benefit if you do not solve this problem yourself. Consider each man's account and check the facts with the information droid. Once you have gathered all the evidence you think you need, run through the possible scenario with me. If you are unable to come to a satisfactory resolution, then I will take these men to the Enclave and deal with this myself. According to the accounts of the participants, these three men were out here in the field together earlier before the clouds broke. I find that very odd, for most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark storm clouds as it was earlier today, but that is not the most puzzling aspect of this case. The dead man, Calder Netic, was shot in the back with a blaster rifle. A rifle was found lying near his body with blood stains on it. It has been sent back to the Enclave for analysis. Two other men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was Haddon Gold. He was unarmed. Uh, the other was Rickard? <laughs> Rickard Lusoff, who was carrying a hunting laser. Both men say that they did not do anything and that they came across the body, but both also accused the other. Obviously, there is more to this than what we have been told. Uh, is there anything else I should know? There is one last thing. When I arrived, Handon was holding his side and Rickard was uh, favoring one of his legs. You would do well to remember this as we progress through the case. If there is anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Okay. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, let's talk to Rickard first, I guess. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handon to the prison he belongs in? Uh, d okay, I guess that's all you have to say. Uh, Handon, uh, what do you have to say? Huh, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Should I have? 
Um, I, I guess under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. Did you see the killer? I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Okay, and what does the droid say? Greetings, Padawan. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold Anetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? Uh... What did you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Uh, tell me about these planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Calf hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Okay, uh, that was not a useful question, so I'll have more some more... Like, I'll have some more questions later, I guess. <laughs> I will be here to assist you. Alright, thanks. Okay. The body of Calder... Calder Nedic. He was apparently shot from behind with a blaster. Okay. So that was the body. Uh... The, I have to go around you guys. Um... I think... Let's see. I can actually look at stuff over here. Uh... Baluk... Uh, let's see. Just hunting areas. Um, sun was in his eyes. Uh, okay. Uh, the the. Can you tell me what happened here? Luke. According to the accounts of the participants, these three men were out here in the field together earlier before the clouds broke. I find that very odd, for most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark storm clouds. If there's dark storm clouds, you're not going to be able to see the sun. So, um... I will continue my investigation. Uh, although I guess I could have just said, let's discuss the murder. Very well, we should start at the beginning. If we find the truth behind each piece of the puzzle, we will no doubt resolve the case. Candon said that he was nearby and heard a shot and ran over, only to find Calder already dead. He said Rickard came out of the shadow of the rocks, holding a blaster in his hands. Rickard said that he was hurting Iri- <laughs> Hurting. I mean, he was. Hunting Iriaz. Um, and saw one and then shot. Uh, it is possible that Rickard may have shot Calder accidentally and Handon may have found the body, but that seems a very unlikely explanation. It is more likely that at least one of them is lying. Obviously, one of these men is not telling us something, but where does the truth lie? Uh, so Rickard is lying. Why do you believe that? Uh, it was cloudy. There was no sun glare. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well done. It was very cloudy this morning. If it had happened, as Rickard said, the sun would not have been invisible at the time of the killing. You seem to have caught Rickard in a bit of a lie. It seems I was correct in assuming you could help me with this case. This lie doesn't prove Rickard is guilty, but I think you have taken the first step in unraveling this mystery. 
We should proceed on to the next point. We need to find a motive for the killing. Maybe you should talk to the men about the relationship with the victim. If there is anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. All right, Rickard. So, what do you want to know? Uh, did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on it. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. Uh, let me ask you something else. So, what do you want to know? Uh... Let's see, we already... Like, he's he mentioned why he was out here already. Um, but I guess I can ask again. I told if you it's... already, didn't I? Was hunting some eerie ass. Haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Like I said before, I shot and pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handon standing over the body, and the Iriaz was gone. Now, I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? No. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, what do you want to know? Okay, um... Why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything, when the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. Um, I won't talk... I won't ask him about him limping yet. Uh, nothing more right now. Okay. So, Handon. How can I be of further assistance? Uh, did you know the victim? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a... reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one says you killed him. Yet. I'm sorry, I'm... I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? I want to ask you something else. How can I be of further assistance? Uh, let's see. Why would someone want to kill him? Did I already ask that to him? Because, like, he mentioned... No, I didn't ask this. Okay. Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with... A hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. Ah, uh, I said that one already? Uh, let me ask okay, you something else. Um, why were you out here? I think I've already asked this question, but sure. Taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. You often run around the plains? Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> You're holding your side. Are you injured? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bath, though. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. Well, that's all for now. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Okay, then the droid. Is there any other information you need? Uh, what can you tell me about Calder and Handon? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Netic and Mr. Gold. Is there any other information you need? Uh, let's see. What can you tell me about Calder and Rickard? 
According to the municipal authorities near the Garrow spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Uh, let's see. I already asked that, so I guess I'll have more cl questions later. Very well. I will be here to assist you. Okay. So, what do you want to know? You thought Calder was cheating you? Now I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. You can deny it, but there was bad blood between you. Right. Okay. How can I be of further assistance? You knew Calder better than you admit. You rented a speeder with him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Punch his face in? Why? My wife was cheating on me with him. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Okay, you wanted to kill Calder for having an affair with your wife. I could block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Um, uh, I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Nedick, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife. Right under my nose, no less. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce. Said at least this part. So, um... Uh, I guess that's it for now. Um... Uh, what will he be asking about this time? I mean, like, he had some bad blood. <laughs> yes, is there something I can do to help you in this investigation? Uh, let me discuss the murder a little bit more. We know Rickard lied about the sun blinding him while he was shooting, but we need more to go on. Let's examine the relationship of each man with the victim. Candon told me he barely knew the victim. On the other hand, Rickard and the victim were business partners. However, according to Rickard, they got along quite well. On the surface, neither man seems to have a motive for killing Calder. Um, I'm pretty sure Rickard is the one that is lying. Uh, why do you believe that? Um, they had a fight over business matters, I think. It is not unusual for business partners to dis disagree sometimes, but if he found proof Calder was cheating him on things, things could escalate to violence. While that certainly is a motive for murder, the case is taking shape. However, you mustn't jump to any quick conclusions. Perhaps we should now focus on the murder weapon itself. You might want to see what information the witnesses and the information droid can provide you about the blaster found near the body. If there is anything else you need, I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Okie dokie. Um. All right. Let's. Uh, what do you want to know? Uh. What about the weapon found by the body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. I always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too, so he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. 
I guess that's it for now. Right. Bastila. Okay. How can and I get further assistance? Uh, what do you know about the weapon found by the body? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous calf hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Uh, I guess that's... That's it. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Alright. Talk to the droid. Is there any other information you need? Uh, let's see. Tell me about the weapon found at the scene. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact he did not belong to Korda. Is there any other information you need? Uh, is there a report of Handon's blaster being stolen? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? Nope, that's... that's everything. Very well. I will be here Handon to assist you. is lying this time. Oh. Yes, is there something I can do to help you in this investigation? Uh, I want to discuss the murder further. <laughs> so what have you determined about the weapon found by the body? Um, the blaster is Handon's. He lied about it being stolen. So we have caught Handon in a lie. Interesting. But I think we may need one final piece of the puzzle. There was a blood sample on the weapon that had been sent back for analysis just before you arrived. Perhaps you could inquire about the information with the information droid about it. Is there anything else you need? I will remain here while you question the witnesses. Um, uh, okay. So let's talk to Rickard. What do you want to know? Uh, so... Baluk said you were limping. Are you hurt? Well kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Uh, that's all for now. And then, uh, Handon. How can I be of further assistance? You're holding your side. Are you injured? I think I already asked this, but... In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bath, <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned it. Yes, you have. Uh, that's all for now. All right. Information droid. Is there any other information you need? Uh, tell me about the blood sample. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not Corda's. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Corda. Is there any other information you need? That's unfortunate. Uh, I'll have more questions later, maybe. We'll see. I will be here to assist you. Okay. Uh, Master Baluk. Uh, yes, I want to discuss the murder. I assume the blood on the weapon belongs to the victim, but I want to be thorough. What have you learned about the blood on the weapon? It didn't belong to the victim. That is surprising. So the blood must belong to one of the suspects, but which one? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Handon's blood. Why do you believe that? He is clutching his side. Hmm, Hampton has been moving oddly since I arrived. Perhaps we should examine him a little more closely. Hey, 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 what are you doing? There is blood. Hampton appears to have suffered some sort of blaster wound to his side. It seems there is one likely scenario. Rickard killed Calder for cheating him in business while shooting Calder. He must have also hit Hampton by accident. Uh, no, they are both guilty. A bold conclusion, one most people would not arrive at. But we are not like most people, we are Jedi. Still, I would like to know how you came to this conclusion. We know Calder was cheating Rickard in business, but what possible motive could Handon have for wanting Calder dead? Uh, 
Handon admitted that Calder was having an affair with his wife. Yes, well done. Both men had a reason to want Calder dead. This is my theory of this morning's events. Both men knew Calder would be out here this morning, and each plotted to kill him. Handon found him first and shot him because of the affair Calder was having with his wife. Shortly after, Rickard arrived on the scene. From a distance, he saw Handon and thought it was Calder, so he shot him in retaliation for the credits Calder had cheated him out of in their business. Handon would have dropped his plaster, the one he found at the scene covered in blood. He probably thought Rickard was going to kill him, so he called us, hoping we would convince he could convince us it was Rickard. Damn both of you. That is enough. The culpability of both of you in murder and the attempted murder of Calder Nedic is evident. Additionally, Rickard Lusoff can be charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder of, Vic of Handon Gold. I place both of you under arrest of the... Of, if the, the I can read. I, can, I place both of you. Move under the rest of the Jedi Order and will escort you to the holding facilities in the Jedi Enclave. You have done well here. It is obvious you have been studying your lessons carefully. I will be sure to inform the Jedi Council of your performances, performance in this little test. Well done. I'm impressed. I'm not sure I could have done as well. Good day and may the Force be with you. Thanks, Baluk. A experience, and I can level up Bastila. Okay, skills. Uh, I just do the normal stuff that she's been doing apparently, and then we'll do. Uh, let's give her the night speed. Okay, and accept. All right. I'm here. Well, uh. That is that. Uh, Sir Nick, uh, thank you for f the follow. Um, but that is it for me today. I'm going to save here. Save. Okay. Okay. Um, but I will be back at least next week, um, if not earlier. Uh, I have been trying to stream a little bit more, um, but I will definitely be back next week on Tuesday. Uh, so thank you for watching and I hope you guys all have a good rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!